News Release Tuesday, June 2023 Research funded and jointly led by National Institute of Health may prompt more countries to screen for SID. Introducing widespread screening of newborns for a deadly disease called severe combined immunodeficiency, or SID, followed by early treatment boosted the five-year survival rate of children with the disorder from 73% before the advent of screening to 87% since, researchers report. Among children whose disease was suspected because of newborn screening rather than illness or family history, 92.5% survived five years or more after treatment. These findings demonstrate for the first time that newborn screening facilitated the early identification of infants with SID, leading to prompt treatment before life-threatening infections occurred, and thereby increasing the proportion of children who survived to age 5 or beyond. Researchers at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases N. I. A. I. D. Part of the National Institutes of Health and colleagues led the retrospective study which The Lancet published today. This study definitively shows that population wide newborn screening for SID has made it possible to save the lives of many more children with the disorder than ever before, said N. I. A. I. D. Acting Director Hugh Kinkloss, M.D. We hope these findings will encourage more countries to screen newborns for this devastating disease. SID is a rare disorder caused by mutations in genes involved in the development and function of infection-fighting immune cells. Infants with SID appear healthy at birth, but are highly susceptible to severe infections. The condition is fatal, usually within the first year or two of life unless the infant receives an immune-restoring treatment such as a stem cell transplant, gene therapy or enzyme therapy. Forty to eighty babies in the United States and Canada are diagnosed with SID annually. The number of babies born with the disorder globally is unknown because most countries do not yet screen for SID. Incidence ranges from one infant per 2,000 live births in regions where inbreeding is common to one per 60,000 live births where it is not. National Institute of Health Scientists developed a newborn screening test for SID in 2005. The test's gradual adoption has made it possible to detect the disease in infants before symptoms appear, take steps to prevent infection, and provide life-saving treatment early. Individual U.S. States and Canadian provinces began screening newborns for SID in 2008, starting with a pilot program in Wisconsin. By the end of 2018, all U.S. States, Washington, D.C., and two U.S. territories were performing newborn screening for the disorder. Seven Canadian provinces and territories currently do so. Several studies previously suggested that population-wide newborn screening for SID improved survival, but none proved it. For this reason, the National Institute of Health-funded Primary Immune Deficiency Treatment Consortium PIDTC set out to definitively measure whether the advent of population-wide newborn screening for SID had improved the overall survival of infants with the disease. The P IDTC is part of NCAT's Rare Diseases Clinical Research Network and consists of 47 centers in North America with the shared goal of improving health outcomes of people with rare, life-threatening, inherited disorders of the immune system. P.I.D.T.C. investigators analyzed data on more than 900 children with confirmed SID who received treatment for the condition with the transplant of blood-forming stem cells from a non-genetically matched donor at one of 34 sites in the United States or Canada between 1982 and 2018. The researchers examined the five-year overall survival rate of these children from 2010-2018, when state and province-wide newborn screening was in effect at participating sites compared to earlier time periods. The researchers excluded infants who received stem cell transplants from genetically matched sibling donors from the analysis, 
because these children had high overall survival rates throughout the study period. The five-year overall survival rate for children with SID who received a stem cell transplant from a non-genetically matched donor remained steady at 72% to 73% from 1982 to 2009 despite advances in clinical care, then increased to 87% during the years 2010 to 2018. Among children whose disease was first suspected based on the result of newborn screening rather than on illness, or family history of SID, and who received a transplant between 2010 and 2018, 92.5% survived to age 5 or beyond. Previous research had shown that being younger than 3.5 months at the time of transplant and not having an active infection at that time improved 5-year survival rates for children with SID. An analysis of the PIDTC data demonstrated that both these factors were much more common in the era of newborn screening and drove the increase in the proportion of children who survived to age 5. In addition, in 2010-2018 compared to previous decades, the percentage of babies with SID who had never had an infection by the time of transplant was dramatically higher, further fueling the survival increase. Moreover, regardless of the transplant technique used, the percentage of children who survived to age 5 was highest in 2010-2018 compared to earlier decades. N. I. at IDN National Institute of Health's National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences funded the study with additional support from National Institute of Health's National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, and National Cancer Institute. Louis D. Notarain G. Lowe, M.D. Christopher Dvorak, M.D. Eli Haddad, M.D. P. H. D. and Micah Thakar, M.D. led the study. Dr. Notarain G. Lowe is chief of the N. I. A. ID Laboratory of Clinical Immunology and Microbiology. Dr. Dvorak is Chief of the Pediatric Allergy, Immunology and Bone Marrow Transplantation Division and Director of the Pediatric Cellular Therapy Laboratory at University of California, San Francisco, U. C. S. F. Dr. Adat is the Associate Chair of Research and a Professor in the Department of Pediatrics at the University of Montreal, as well as the Head of the Immunology, Rheumatology and Allergy Division at CHU St. Justine in Montreal. He also holds the Bank of Montreal Chair of Pediatric Immunology at CHU St. Justine. Dr. Thakar is the Medical Director of Bone Marrow Transplantation Inpatient Services at Seattle Children's Hospital, as well as an Associate Professor at both Fred Hutchinson Cancer Center and University of Washington in Seattle. N. I. A. I. D. Conducts and supports research at National Institute of Health throughout the United States and worldwide to study the causes of infectious and immune-mediated diseases and to develop better means of preventing, diagnosing, and treating these illnesses. News releases, fact sheets, and other NIID-related materials are available on the NIID website. About the National Institutes of Health National Institute of Health National Institute of Health, the nation's medical research agency, includes 27 institutes and centers and is a component of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. National Institute of Health is the primary federal agency conducting and supporting basic, clinical, and translational medical research and is investigating the causes, treatments, and cures for both common and rare diseases. For more information about National Institute of Health and its programs, visit www.nagov. National Institute of Health Turning Discovery into Health Registered. M.S. Thakar et al. Measuring the Effect of Newborn Screening on Survival After Hematopoietic Cell Transplantation for Severe Combined Immunodeficiency 
a 36-year longitudinal study from the Primary Immune Deficiency Treatment Consortium, the Lancet D. O. I. 10.1016 slash Sone 104 to minus 6736 to 03731 minus 6202 3.